Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's me, BR Cuba, and in this video, I'll be teaching you how to solve the pyramid. So let's get started. So the notation goes like this. This is R, the right side. We are moving the right side, which is known as R. Then moving it like this is called R. And this is R prime, which means anti-clockwise direction. As you can see, clock moves like this. So R clockwise, R prime, which is anti-clockwise. Then we have L. This is L clockwise. Then L prime, which means L anti-clockwise. Then U, which is clockwise. U, sorry, U prime, which is anti-clockwise. Then B which is clockwise and B prime which is anti-clockwise so these are the movements or notations now next we'll be knowing about the pieces so there are three different pieces in the pyramids so number one are the tips so one second yeah so this is a tip so this just has like three movements like there is nothing much with this piece it just goes like this uh, so yeah so these are the tips then we have the center piece so on a pyramid there is uh, four sides so each side has three center pieces those are one two and three so these are the three center pieces and as you can see on this side two three and these are the center pieces and now the edge pieces there are also three edge pieces those are one two and three and over here one two three so but many people might have a confusion between edge pieces and uh, center pieces because they look all the same so how can you differentiate between them so the simplest idea is that the center pieces are connected to the tips as you can see the center pieces are connected to the tips on all sides but the edge pieces are not connected to the uh, tips so this is how you can differentiate between a center piece and an edge piece so first of all let's really scramble the cube to learn how to solve it so as the cube is now scrambled now we'll see how to solve it so step one the very first step is very easy what do you, what, what you have to do is to solve the tips so uh, there is no algorithm you just have to just simply turn it and look it's solved turn it like that maybe two times or one time look it's solved and yeah now all the four tips are now solved so this is the first step now number two is to solve one phase so we have to uh, to solve one phase we need to bring all the centers of the same color on one side so now in this uh, uh, time I'll just choose the color green so I'm choosing the color green. So now I have two center pieces on this face. I need the third center pieces, third center piece on this face. So I see that the third center piece is over here. I can't bring it like this because uh, then this will be moved away. So to bring this over here, what I have to do is so this is fully intuitive. You have to do it, uh, do it by your own that like uh, there's no any particular algorithm algorithm for this so uh, this uh, you have to do it by yourself so have to think more and figure out the way so if I bring out this over here and these two over here nothing will be broken and I can easily make it possible so as you can see all the center pieces are now there and now once you do this have to face this side facing the bottom so yeah this should be facing at the bottom and now we have to fix these three edge pieces so for that we will be learning some algorithms or not just one algorithm but uh, instead of learning it as an algorithm you can just look at the movements it's it's just three moves or four moves so yeah so first of all we'll solve this edge piece so here we need the piece which has green and blue edge piece so for that um, it's right over here so once you find the piece if the piece is 
in one of these three uh, positions now what you have to do is bring this to the corresponding color so as you can see this is matching with blue then what you have to do is if you want to uh, insert this over here there is two ways number one you can bring this this position over here like that bring it up then move this over here uh, which will be matched and bring this down that means it's solved so but the other way is that what you have to do is move this away you have to not match it and we are going to do is bring this down bring this down bring this up and bring this up as you can see both are solved so you can use either of the ways so yeah it's your choice now next we'll be solving this edge piece so the edge piece should be green and yellow so let's find that it's right over here so I want this to come over here so for that we need to take this out and bring it over here or here or anywhere so for that bringing this out do an algorithm r u r prime so now that piece is outside and we have to insert this so now this piece is matched with yellow then now bring this side up now match it and bring this down so as you can see this is fixed and now the last and final one so in this case this edge piece is in the right place but it's flipped for that you have to take this piece out and insert it in the correct way so that let's take it out through the algorithm r u r prime so now as i told you have to match the color as you can see match it bring this up match it together bring this down so as you can see the first layer is done So the next step is to match these centers to its corresponding colors. So now this is red. Let's moving. Uh, let's try moving it over here. So now all the centers are matched on all sides, as you can see. So now after this stage, you will have two cases. Then these two cases will lead to another case. From that, the cube will be solved. No, the pyramids will be solved. So now let's check the first case case number one so you'll have something like this so what you have to do is you have to find something like this if you find something like this like two pieces one uh, same color pieces over here and one same color is over here like this if you find something like this uh, make sure that not like this something like this if you see that you have to hold the uh, pyramids like this and do do the soon algorithm so if you don't know what's the soon, it's an algorithm which we do uh, on the 3x3 three three over here uh, for solving the last layer. So if you don't know the algorithm, it will be on the screen and just also follow my steps. It goes like this. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So after you do that algorithm, you'll reach somewhere like this. After that, you just have one small algorithm and the pyramids is solved. Before that, let's check what's the second case. So the second case is almost similar as the first case where the first case, uh, the algorithm of the first case is done from the right side. But in this case, we are doing it from the left side. So here is how the algorithm goes. L prime, L prime, U prime, L u prime l u 2 l so then we will land on this case which we also landed on this case from the first case so for this algorithm you have to do uh, so the algorithm for this is uh, it will go like this so just follow my steps and the algorithm will be also be displayed over here so yeah so let's get started so r prime L R L prime then I had to move this over here okay like U prime move it away then L sorry uh, L prime U prime and L so now you have officially solved the pyramids I hope this tutorial was helpful and if it was Please consider subscribing this YouTube channel for more content like this. 
and if you have any doubts regarding this tutorial feel free to contact me on instagram the link will be in the description and that's all for today and i'll see you in the next video and till then it's me brqbal signing out Oh